Fertility tourism is a growing international business with Americans choosing reproductive care outside of the U.S. because of its often more affordability. Uncertainty over the recent Alabama ruling that stopped IVF treatments at several clinics within the state, sparking even more interest elsewhere. NBC 6's Marissa Bag joins us live with a Miami woman's journey to Barbados for successful IVF treatment. Marissa. Jawan and Trina, at the age of 47, Michelle McCoy decided she wanted to try and get pregnant and have a baby. If not for IVF, she would not be a new mom right now, and she is hopeful that IVF continues to be an option for all women out there. My baby is the most precious thing to me in the world. Michelle McCoy is in love with her three-month-old miracle, Mashiko. Michelle feels like she walked to the ends of the earth for this baby. She battled endometriosis and multiple rounds of in vitro fertilization, and at the age of 49, got pregnant for the first time. Knowing all that I had to go through to get to this point, it's just mind-boggling. Three years ago, when she decided to try to carry a child, the cost of IVF, which ranges between fifteen to twenty thousand dollars in the U.S., made her dreams impossible. I found it to be very expensive. It was out of my reach. So she settled on the Barbados Fertility Center, which she says cost half as much and offered the same quality care. Knowing the grueling process of IVF and the toll it takes on your mind and body, Michelle's heart breaks for women in Alabama who recently lost care in the wake of the Supreme Court ruling. And then for that to just stop automatically, um, that's nerve wracking. And especially not knowing when you'll be able to do the transfer, that's even more um, heartbreaking. The state's Supreme Court ruled last week that embryos are considered children. Many IVF medical facilities paused treatment immediately, not knowing what the legal fallout could be. People are considering other options. The Alabama ruling, it, it creates a very un huge uncertainty. I mean, the day that happened, we saw a spike in inquiries from Alabama immediately. Michelle is forever grateful her IVF journey brought her her daughter. She worries that won't be the case for many other families. What are the choices that are available for those who are having unexplained infertility experiences? A proposed bill here in Florida that would have defined a fetus as an unborn child and potentially had the same chilling effect on IVF is now on hold. The proposed bill's sponsor has asked that a committee vote be postponed, so that means that the bill's future is uncertain in Tallahassee.